Well, disaster has sure struck here. I'm up at my neighbor's sawmill and holy mackerel. I guess they uh, came out one morning, came up the hill and saw this smoldering mess. It's pretty amazing that it didn't spread farther than it did. There's not much usable. So they're already a couple of days into the cleanup and they're making good progress with that, but wow. Yeah. Yeah, this used to be a wood miser sawmill. Now it's a big piece of scrap metal. Only mackerel. So it spread quite a bit out the back. But amazingly stopped, didn't go any farther. Right. So this burned during the night? Yes. And Brian, the 800 gallon septic tank set right there. Oh yes. The, bow, the wheelbarrow and a truck cap all set in that, in that area. And a motor, was that a good motor? It was. It was a motor for my truck that I'm driving. Oh, really? Yeah. Chris got it for me. I found a whole bunch of this stuff, right? I don't know if it's going to be any good or not, but there's a pile of it in here. Yeah. Another measuring tape. The vice may still be good. Pardon? The vice is probably I still tried good. I turning it, and it's turning okay. Uh, there's another one over there that was in the fire, and I think it's going to be okay. The uh, table saw and air compressor and everything's in there, yet we haven't got to that. Yeah. I see all your sawmill blades there. All the, yeah. I was just up uh, seeing Mark yesterday to pick up my sawmill blades. Did you tell him the mill broke? Yeah, I told him that uh, you might not be up to see him for a little bit until you're ready to go again. I might have to go a lot sooner. Uh, just a gesture. That for the, the yes, the insurance adjuster. Said, I said, well, what's the chance of me getting two or three boxes of blades back? Well, he said, what part? The blades don't have nothing to do with the mill. I said, well, what cuts the log? Yeah. What cuts the log? Nothing well, to do with the mill. It's a blade. I said, yeah, that that blade right there is what I use to cut lumber with. Yeah. He didn't know nothing. Jeez. Wow. How long will it take you to replace this mill? Uh, six weeks. Have you got it ordered already? Yes and no. He don't. Even the glass is melted. So when Art came up here, the fire was pretty much out. Everything was still smoldering. But you can see how far across it came. That's partially burned right up to the top of that tree. Wow. And all the lumber he had stacked up around the mill is all gone. Holy mackerel. Well, Art is one determined man. He will rebuild. They have no idea what caused this. Art just shut things down as he normally does. Came back in the morning and there's what you have.
All right, folks, so shows you how easy things like this can happen. So he's got insurance that is going to cover a good portion of it, not all of it, because there's the depreciation on the machine. So to buy a new machine, he's going to need he's going to need to put out a fair bit of money for it. But he's determined to keep going. Good for him. All right. So that'll be it for today's video, folks. We'll wish Art luck and hope he can get this thing cleaned up and going. And I know he'll work at it really hard. Okay. So thanks very much for watching. Remember, stay safe out there. Be good to each other, and we will see you out on the trails the next time.